and happy Monday. Oh my gosh, what a winter storm last night. We have over six inches here this morning of beautiful white snow. Oh my gosh, I know snow is no fun for the northern part of the country where it snows all the time, but here in Texas we get it once in a uh, very once in a while we get uh, snow. Uh, we started off with ice though and uh, now we have beautiful snow um, and our temperatures are so cold. Oh my gosh everybody's got bursted pipes now and um, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. I've got my uh, my outdoor faucets covered and we're doing everything we can <clears throat> to keep... Uh oh I forgot comments. Hold on. There they are. Okay. Anyways I am going to show you all how to make a very easy background for your stamps, uh, for your cards today. A super easy ink splatter background. It's a lot of fun. Hey, good morning, Deborah and Kim and Linda. How are you? How are you? All right. So let's get started in today's card tutorial. We are going. I am going to show you how to make uh, an easy ink splatter background for your cards. Um, I like to say no more boring. Uh, backgrounds on your cards. With this technique, you can do it on every card you create. Uh, well, if you want to. <laughs> Anyways, hey Vicki and Dorothy, good morning. Oh, Deborah, 7 a.m. Oh my goodness. Oh, so nice and early. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina Reese, and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page here at 9 a.m. Central Time. Let's get started. Um, splatter background. Okay, here we go. So, uh, I'll first want to show you what I'm using today. So, um, in the, I was ta talking about the celebration, and let me switch over to my other camera here. Um, <clears throat> the celebration, this is our celebration brochure, and for every $50 you spend, uh, or $100, you get to choose a free item out of this brochure. And I'm looking to, I'm using today this strawberry, um, it's the Berry Blessing stamp set and designer paper. Um, it, it's, comes together and so for a hundred dollar order you get the paper and the stamp set free so that's a pretty good deal and the paper is so fun oh my gosh my favorite I think I mean I love the berries they're very pretty but look at this um, the green and the red and the blue um, kind of a plaid gingham background I think that's so pretty oh, we also have like this um, I'm not sure what kind of print that is, but it's fun with the purple. And then we also have the strawberry seeds background and the leaf background. So our paper um, comes double-sided, um, and so I was just showing all the paper there. So really fun. And you get an entire pack. It's not just a little bit of paper. I mean, I'm just showing you a sample here. You get an entire pack of uh, paper. That would usually cost eleven dollars and fifty cents American American money, uh, United States money, yeah, <laughs> U.S. dollars. Uh, and the uh, stamp set's got some cute sayings on it: "Wishing you the very best, bounty blessings. You always have a way of making my day, and you all do. Y'all have the best." way of making my day. Y'all send me the nicest comments and you're always here in the mornings watching. Good morning Marty, how are you? Thank you for sharing Marty, that that, that means a lot to me. Now, this free set coordinates with this stamp set in the catalog, okay? So this is the Sweet Strawberry stamp set and it has a coordinating punch that goes with it. We're going to be using the punch today. Um, that's so sweet of you. Hello there, just for you. Thank you and happy birthday, you sweet thing. Some cute strawberries and flowers. Oh, and this flower matches our uh, Small Blooms uh, punch, so that's pretty cool. And this one here, it goes with uh, this punch here, so everything just goes together with Stampin' Up! We love it! 
just love it. Um, you buy something and you can use it with other things you own and uh, save it for when other stuff comes out in the newer catalogs. Um, you use it with that. So that's I just I love it how it all just works together. That's the card I'm making now. This card has a boring background, just white plain. I mean that's a pretty card, but let's give it just a little bit more, okay? And how we do that is first take your card base okay here's our card base uh just eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and eleven let me move my pat stamping pad out of the way and get some sc scratch paper in here and this is so easy take a pen and you can use either one you can use a right marker and you want the paintbrush side okay you can use the writing marker or you can use the blends and I'm using the blends marker and you want the cap so take the cap take your marker and put the marker in the cap and flick it okay and we're just gonna hold that down flick it <laughs> And let me pull that up so you can see it better. Isn't that awesome? Now, let's put our card together. It's really easy. Uh, the first thing I did was I took some of this uh, just jade gingham ribbon that we have. And I just, I love this, this beautiful ribbon. Let me pull it up so you can see it better. Isn't that pretty? And it's one of our new in colors called Just Jade. Oh, and speaking of in colors, so every year, and I try to explain this, every year we get five new colors. And the color lasts for two years, okay? So the color that came out two years ago, which was the um, kind of a pastel look. Um, okay, what I'm doing is I'm looking for my clamping tweezers. I just had them when I was making the card this morning. And I have been really trying to put things back where they go. And Oh, well, okay, we're just going to do the best we can and make this bow without clamping tweezers. Um, anyway, so the uh, Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, Pretty Peacock. Um, what other colors are there? There's Pretty Peacock. Oh, Terracotta Tile. I said that the uh, Seaside Spray, Purple Posy, and Rococo Rose. Those five colors came in two years ago. They are ending in uh, June. Or no, not. I'm sorry, not June. Uh, we're bumping up a, a month, May this year. They will no longer be available in May. All right. So if you liked those colors, or if you bought the ink pads and you have not bought the ink refills, you'll want to get those before they go out. We have a new catalog coming out in, <clears throat> excuse me, May, the new annual catalog, and we will be getting five new in colors. Now this year's in colors, the um, the brights. Um, what are they? Magenta, mag, ma, uh, yeah, Magenta Madness, Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, Just Jade, like this ribbon, and Misty Moonlight. Those colors will be here for another year. Even though they just came in this year, they'll be here for another year. So those are our in colors now. Uh, and this is the Just Jade ribbon. So that's where that conversation came from. All right, so far so good. We've got our ribbon. We've got our splatter. All right, let me get this out of the way. And now what we need, um, and here, like I said, here's the card that I originally made. And I just took my two and a quarter inch punch and I punched the strawberry uh, cardstock. And then I took the one and a half inch punch and I punched out the strawberry seeds, which is just the back side. Okay, so I have those two there. And then we're going to stamp and cut out another circle. All right, so let me get my... Uh, I'm going to stamp and seal here and put these on. Hey, good morning, Dorothy. How are you? And I've got a Susan, too. Yes, Linda, they are very pretty colors. And this ribbon is just so fun. All right, so we're just going to put that strawberry paper there and <clears throat> the seeds here. So that's pretty simple. Now, the next thing we're going to do 
is we are going to stamp, and this is why I had my stamping pad out. Remember when you have um, photo polymer, the clear stamps, you need a pad uh, to stamp on to give it a nice, uh, not too cushiony of a surface. You want your foam pad to be pretty firm, but not so firm that it's not going to get you a good stamp. Um, the hard table, sometimes you don't get a complete uh stamp because the table may have a, a like a scratch in it or a, a bend in it and so the ink won't get there because you've got a hard block and a hard stamp and you just need a little give and that's what this cushion is. Our red rubber stamps and all red rubber stamps already have a cushion on them but the clear stamps do not so you need to have a clear you need to have a cushion. Now <clears throat> this is our stitched shape we have round stitch shapes, and I'm just going to put that there and run it through our little mini embossing. I just love this thing. You just It's so lightweight, and it's just for little things like this. Um, I don't need my big embossing folder right now or embossing cutting machine because I'm just doing this one piece. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing a bunch of, of uh, cutting today. Just this one. Oh, I kind of smeared my red ink. Y'all be careful when you have fresh ink. Sometimes it's still wet. Okay. And just pull that right through there. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, um kind of smudged a little bit but we're just gonna go with it because it's a handmade card so it's okay if it's not perfect right <laughs> where's my card now I am going to pop this up on dimensionals and where are my dimensionals here they are there we go here we go and me, Marty says she loves her mini cut and dimensional. I mean, cut and dimensional, <laughs> cut and emboss machine. Oh, wow, it is really early. Oh, I'm still kind of sleepy. There we go. All right, so now we have, okay, we've got this so far. Um, it just needs a little bit more. Um, these little flowers that I cut out are from the, um, the strawberry punch right here, see on the corner. So I cut out two red flowers, and now I only needed one red, uh, one of the strawberry tops because I'm gonna cut this right here and cut that off. All right, and that's gonna give me leaves for these two little flowers. Isn't that fun? All right, and I'm just gonna get my glue dots. Sometimes. Um, when you're working with itty bitty pieces, uh, it's just easier to use glue dots. Come here. There we go. And I'm just going to put that back there and then stick the flower like right there so those leaves are showing. And then let's do this one. There we go. All right, so we have leaves. That looks kind of funny. Hold on. Ooh, those glue dots are tight. Yeah, there we go. All right, and these, of course, need dimensionals. Where are my baby dimensionals? one over here hey Hilda Nell good morning I just love you guys are uh, showing up so early oh my goodness love it all right now I've got those flowers but those flowers are kind of plain let's get some bling on there and uh, of course I forgot to get my bling give me two seconds 
something went falling. Oh, well. <laughs> there we go. I love these sequins, these uh, adhesive back sequins here. These come from the uh, Everyday Flowers or something. Let's see. Do I want little or big? Uh, big. Okay. I'm just going to use the end tip of my scissors here. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's better. Come here. Voila. Okay, now let's look at the two cards. <clears throat> let's compare the two. So one is just a regular, clear, uh, no, no splatters, just a blank background. And this one has the splatters, and it just gives it, I don't know, it doesn't make much of a difference, but it gives it just enough to where it uh, looks a little more interesting. It's a little more fun to look at. But anyway, so that is our card this morning. I really enjoy sharing card tutorials with you and sharing ideas. Remember, celebration does end in two weeks, okay? The last day of February. February the 28th is the last day for celebration. Okay. You all have a wonderful day. If you have snow, get some pretty pictures and show us. Um, if you don't have any snow, which I can't, there's just very few people in the United States this morning that are not waking up to snow. We had quite a storm go through and from what I understand we have another one coming Wednesday but our temperatures are not getting above freezing so none of this is going to melt um, and I am going to stay inside where it's warm and make lots of cards. <laughs> okay you all have a wonderful wonderful day talk to you later <laughs> bye bye